Hey guys, the Nitro One here, and welcome to my second Pokemon analysis video. Today we're going to be discussing the Royal Sword Pokemon Aegislash, since that Pokemon ended up winning the vote over Blastoise and Excadrill thanks to you guys. And while we're talking about Aegislash, I thought I'd also analyse its pre-evolved form, the Sword Pokemon, the Blade, which is a solid Pokemon in its own right. So without further ado, let's begin by taking a look at Aegislash's base stats. So as you can see, Aegislash is a Steel and Ghost type, making it a rather unique Pokemon in that regard, and immune to three types, Normal, Fighting, and Poison. It also has a whopping 9 resistances, and 4 weaknesses, which are Fire, Ground, Ghost, and Dark. Now Aegislash used to be in the OU Smogon tier, but unfortunately it recently got banned from that tier and is now in the Uber tier. But its ability is known as Stance Change, which enables it to switch between two different forms depending on the move it uses. It enters the battlefield in its defensive form, shield form, and will switch to its offensive form, blade form, when it uses an attacking move. After that, the only two ways to switch back into shield form is if Aegislash uses the move King Shield, or if it switches out and then back into the battlefield. Its base stats are different depending on its form. In shield form it naturally has really high base defense stats, with 150 in both its physical and special defense stats, and only 50 in its offensive stats. However, the low attack stats don't matter at all, as when it changes it to its blade form, its physical and special attack stats become 150, and defense stats become 50. Therefore, Aegislash becomes an incredibly frail Pokemon in blade form. However, its HP and speed stats are both 60, regardless of what form it's in. So that's all for Aegislash's base stats, now let's take a look at the blade's base stats. So, the Blade has the same typing as Aegislash, therefore the same immunities, resistances, and weaknesses. However, unlike Aegislash, its ability is no guard, which ensures both its own attacks and its opponent's attacks always land, which is more of a hindering ability than a beneficial ability, as almost every move the Blade learns has 100% accuracy anyway. It's placed in the RU tier, so it's a lot of fun to use with other Pokemon placed in the lower tiers. With regards to Double A's stats, it has a fairly solid 100 attack, but only 45 special attack and 35 in speed. Although the speed stat is really slow, this can be beneficial as the Blade has access to Gyro Ball, as well as Shadow Sneak, which is a priority move anyway. Its low speed also makes it a good Pokemon to use on a Trick Room team, which is one of the sets I have planned to show you guys. Its HP and special defense stats of 59 and 49 respectively aren't that good either, but its physical defense stat of 150 is absolutely fantastic, and because it isn't a fully evolved Pokemon, it is perfect for the Eviolite item, which increases both defense stats by 50% if the holder isn't fully evolved, potentially giving it a defense stat of 225 and special defense stat of 73.5, making it an absolute monster of a physical wall, as well as a nice boost to its special defense stat. But that's enough talking about its stats, so let's take a look at the sets I have for Aegislash. Let's start with this bulky physical sweeper set. This is perhaps the most generic, not to mention predictable set for Aegislash, but it's still a pretty effective one. We're going to give Aegislash an adamant nature to boost its attack but decrease its special attack, and there are three items I recommend you trying out. The leftovers, which will recover HP at the end of every turn, which is pretty useful, especially with a combination of King Shield. You could also consider giving it the Air Balloon, which will make it immune to ground type moves for as long as it isn't hit, which will temporarily get rid of one of its weaknesses. And the final item I recommend for this set is Weakness Policy, which doubles both physical and special attack stats when the holder is hit with a move it's weak to. Being a bulky Pokemon, especially in shield mode, Aegislash can tank practically any super effective move and will get a significant boost when it fights back. With regards to the EVs, we'll be putting 252 into HP to max that out, 252 in attack to max that out as well, and the remaining 4 EVs into its special defense. And for the moveset, we're going to be going with Shadow Sneak, which is the ghost type version of Quick Attack, in other words, it is a lower power priority based move which will be beneficial for Aegislash, as it isn't the fastest of Pokemon in the game. Although Shadow Sneak has a low base power, it'll get a nice boost with the help of Swords Dance, which doubles attack when used. The third move is King Shield, which is great for scouting what move your opponent will use on you, as well as of course switching you back into Shield mode if you've just used an offensive move. The fourth move can either be Sacred Sword or Iron Head. Sacred Sword is great for type coverage such as Aegislash's weakness to Dark, but Iron Head can also be good especially with Stab Boost, and that it's strong against Fairy, which is arguably one of the most OP types in the entire game. An Iron Head from a Swords Dance Aegislash will easily send a Xerneas flying. So this next set is a slightly more defensive orientated Aegislash than the previous one. Instead of Adamant, we're going to give it a careful nature to increase its special defense stat, but lower its special attack, and you can give it any one of those three items I explained about in the previous set. 
the EVs are slightly different with 252 in its special defense stat, 232 in its HP and the remaining 24 EVs in its attack stat to give it a slight investment in that stat. Instead of Shadow Sneak I decided to give it Shadow Claw which is a much more powerful physical ghost type move but of course it doesn't have priority. This can be quite an effective set especially if you're up against another Aegis Slash that has Shadow Sneak which you can tank fairly well and fight back with your own Shadow Claw which is a guaranteed one hit KO against an Aegis Slash in blade form. Instead of Sword Stance I decided to give it Toxic which will drain away at your opponent's HP as well as shut down any recover stalling Pokemon you might be up against. This can be used in combination with King Shield as a what some people like to call toxic stalling set which can be rather cheap and annoying against your opponent but hey it works I guess. And we'll be giving it Sacred Sword to cover any weaknesses just like in the previous set. Now we have the final Aegis Slash set I made which is a mixed set that not many people will expect to see. We're going to start by giving Aegis Slash a rash nature to increase its special attack but lower its special defense and we're going to put 252 EVs into its special attack, 128 into its attack and 128 EVs into its HP. The two main moves on this set are Shadow Ball and Flash Cannon which will both be extremely powerful due to the max special attack investment and the fact that they'll be getting a same type attack bonus and we'll be keeping King Shield on there to switch back into shield mode if we need to and Sacred Sword for some extra type coverage. Overall this is a pretty awesome set and I really encourage you to use this set. Now let's move on to the two Deblade movesets I have for you guys. The first set I have is fairly similar to the first Aegis Slash set, it's got fairly similar moves and EV investments. We're going to give Deblade an adamant nature to boost attack below a special attack and for the item we're going to be going with the Eviolite which will give its defense stats a nice boost. In terms of the EVs, we're going to be going with 252 into its HP, 252 into attack and the remaining EVs into its defense. The moveset is exactly the same as Aegislash's first set, but because the blade can't learn King Shield, I put Iron Head in there instead as a nice stab move. Overall, this set is great to use on the blade for lower tier dominance, and unlike Aegislash, you won't risk becoming vulnerable after using an offensive move. And now for the final set of this video, a Trick Room set. We're going to start by giving the blade a Brave Nature to increase its attack but lower its speed, and for the item we're going to be going with the Eviolite again. Now as this is a trick room set we want its speed to be as low as possible which is why we're going with the brave nature as well as having zero IVs in its speed so that when trick room is activated the blade will be at its fastest possible speed. For the EVs I decided to go with 220 into HP, 252 into attack and 48 EVs into its defense to give it a little bit of defensive bulk. For the moves we're going to be going with Shadow Sneak and Sacred Sword again, but the other two moves will be a bit different. We'll be going with Substitute which will cause the Blade to sacrifice a quarter of its max HP in order to create a Substitute which will make the Blade even more of an immovable tank. And the final move will be the Steel type move, Gyro Ball, which deals more damage the slower the Blade is compared to its opponent. The Brave Nature and Zero IVs into speed will ensure the Blade deals as much damage as it possibly can to its opponent, regardless of how slow it is compared to what you'll be up against. Unfortunately, the Blade cannot learn Trick Room, so you'll have to teach it to another Pokemon on your team, then switch out to the Blade, but even if you don't have Trick Room, it's a pretty solid set anyway. Now, if you happen to be up against an Aegis Slash or a Blade, here are some possible counters for them both. The first one I have is Klefki, or any reasonably bulky Pokemon capable of using Foul Play. Foul Play's power depends on how high your opponent's attack is, so if your opponent's Aegis Slash's attack has been boosted a few times by Swords Dance, a Foul Play will absolutely destroy Aegis Slash, especially if it happens to be in Blade form. A second counter is Talon Flame, or any Pokemon capable of using Will-O-Wisp, because if you guys don't know, Will-O-Wisp is one of few moves that actually goes through King Shield, causing a burn on Aegis Slash and halving its attack, which will really cripple it. And the final counter I have is Gliesger, or any Pokemon capable of using Knockoff. Gliesger in particular is a very defensive Pokemon and can take a hit quite well from a physical Aegis Slash, but not so well from a mixed one. And Knockoff is perhaps the best move to use against a De Blade, as not only is it a super effective move as it's a Dark type move, it will also knock off its Held item, which on a De Blade will most likely be the Eviolite. Therefore, De Blade will be extremely nerfed in the defensive department. But that is pretty much the end of today's episode guys, hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you have any sets that weren't mentioned that you'd like to share, you can leave them in the comment section below. And as the release date of Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire draws closer and closer, I'm going to be analysing a few Hoenn Pokemon over the next few episodes of this series. But which Pokemon will I be discussing in the next episode, you ask? Well, you guys will have to wait and see. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!